Today I am talking to Marion from Sylvan Skincare about their Radiance Balm. As some of you all know, it's one of my favourite products that we stock at Blommer Beauty and today we're going to show you some of the different ways that you can use the product. So welcome Marion. Thank you Karen. Hi. <laughs> Hi, nice to see you. <laughs> um, do you want to just start by telling us a little bit more about the brand for people that don't know or haven't heard of Sylvan Skincare? Okay, thank you. Uh, well, my name's Marion Hardiman. I'm the founder of Sylvan Skincare, and we're a small um, skincare producing business based in the Herefordshire Welsh borders, uh, which is a lovely place to be. Um, all our products are blended by hand in small batches and uh, we are registered as cruelty free with Leaping Bunny program and most of our products and our aim is for all of our products um, but most of our products are registered with the Vegan Society and they're 100% plant based products so every ingredient is carefully selected on its plant based qualities which is lovely. And I make oils, balms and creams for the face and body. Amazing. I think it's particularly exciting that your range has got quite a few balms in it and they're all vegan, which is notoriously quite difficult to do because lots of people just use beeswax. But you have come up with a wonderful formulation that has the effect of the balm without needing to use that ingredient. So it's completely... Yeah, I mean, beeswax is a lovely product and it's, you know, has some really lovely properties. Um, but if you want to choose 100% plant-based products, you can't use it. Um, there are so many plant ingredients that you can put into balms. So although there are eight um, kind of similar balms, they've all got very different kind of mix of ingredients and mix of qualities. So um, Radiance is the one that we're focusing on today, which is the facial balm. But we've got, for example, a breathe balm, which is lovely for congestion. Um, there's a sleep balm, which is lovely and gentle and kind of nighttime treat. Muscle, which is great for aching muscles and joints or a post-workout um, uh, product and lots of others as well. And the other thing that I really like about them is that they are multi-purpose balms, or multi-purpose products. So although there is an obvious reason for using it perhaps to soothe dry skin but you could also use it in lots of different ways so it's a great travel product it's a great great gift yeah and we're going to talk about as you said radiance balm today which is this one yeah yeah and this mine. Yes. is the perfect travel product in my mind because it is so multifunctional um tell us a little bit more about radiance balm like what what would the key benefits be for using this this product Okay, well, it's got some really lovely, uh, luxurious ingredients in, in it. It's got the it's got the, uh, the candelilla wax and the shea butter, which kind of give it its kind of texture and um, kind of solid, if you like, property. But the lovely infusions and other oils that I've added to it are uh, rosehip oil, which is a really lovely uh, source of vitamin A which is really important um, and also really lovely for scarred or damaged skin. So uh, it's a lovely product and often people like to use rosehip oil on its own yeah. on, their skin, on their skin. But I really like it blended with other oils because I just think that just makes for a, a more harmonious mm -hmm. uh, overall product. Uh, I've also got camellia oil in it, which blends really nicely with rosehip oil, which is a lovely antioxidant, which, um, again, helps to restore damaged skin or, and work to combat kind of that free radical action. Um, so that's a really kind of lovely key ingredient. And one of the most lovely things about it is the smell of it yeah, you know what, you're getting what, what rose geranium rose, rose geranium is what you're getting straight away which um is fairly university loved universally loved sorry not university <laughs> and it's also got something in there called immortel which is also known as everlasting flower which is a bit like um a chamomile it's very gentle and yeah. soothing um and lovely for the skin but it's got a slightly sweeter softer aroma then chamomile can be um, a little bit icy and and that's really lovely regenerating properties for all skin types 
Um, and this is the lovely thing about the product. You could use it for all skin types. I mean, a lot of people think what a facial balm is for people with really dry skin. Yeah. And certainly dry skin and winter skin are really going to appreciate the properties uh, the, of a balm. But there's no reason why you couldn't use this on oily skin as well. Um, but perhaps you would use you would choose how and when yeah. you would use it. Um, lots yeah. of people you, that we've sold it to in the past who've got maybe combination skin use it as that cleansing balm element because of the ho-ho, yeah. it helps to balance um, if you've yeah. got oilier patches or dry patches. So, yeah, I think different yeah. uses for different skin types is, is really ideal as Absolutely. well. Absolutely, yeah. And, yeah. And the lovely thing about it, although it's a so, you know it's a solid it's a solid balm, when you work it into your fingers, it goes that's it, <laughs> it it turns to oil very quickly. Yeah. So it doesn't drag the skin over the face. It's a kind of still um, very gentle. So some balms can be a bit dry. This is a kind of very more. It goes to oil very quickly. Yeah, you so, always have yeah. to warm some up in your hands quite a lot and I think if you've got dryness or sensitivity they're maybe a bit delicate for the skin so it's really yeah. nice that it melts in so that you can just gently sweep it yeah. over and, and not and there are ways of applying it I mean you can do a really lovely vigorous circulation kind of inducing massage or you can just kind of press and roll it in um, depending on how your skin is feeling on any particular day yeah right and shall we talk through some of the different ways that we can use the product yeah um, okay so what do you want to talk through first well the first the obvious one the one and the the process that we start off always with is as a cleanser yeah. and it's a great cleanser and um you know um where to start <laughs> so how, I mean, you can how use it do you use so it, yeah. you'd use it like a cleansing balm wouldn't you yeah so how much you could would use you it be... in the morning or you could use it at night okay. um or, or or both absolutely fine um I would use um probably start with about half a teaspoon so I'm using a little kind of spatula okay. to get mine out with just to kind of keep it super clean yeah. and and I would say that is probably less than half a teaspoon and I just put it on my fingertips and just kind of work it in and you know immediately uh, the product has turned yeah, to oil and I've got quite a bit of product on my fingertips there yeah and then I'm not going to do it now but because uh, I haven't got a bowl of water but you would just work it depending on how your skin is so if it's um, if it's sensitive just go gently and lightly but just work the product in in kind of upward circles into your skin and into all the crevices to try and remove makeup if it's your evening cleanse or dirt or old cells or whatever it is that we're trying to remove as yeah. we work through and you can kind of work it all over I mean we don't need to make too much of a rigmarole out of it and then remove it with um I would use uh, a muslin square yeah. with that's wet with warm water yeah just use that to take it off but you could use a terry's flannel that that's also very lovely and both of those fabrics will have a gentle exfoliating effect as well yeah. so um you're helping to kind of remove that grime or that all that makeup and then you will just pop that in in, in the laundry um, and can you and then, rub it gently on the eyelid if you're wearing makeup or brows yeah. and things like that absolutely it's it's fine some people will prefer to use an eye makeup remover uh, because um, for whatever reason and just want to work that area yeah. um, with with something that is made for eyes. But there is no reason why you couldn't use it yeah. around eyes yeah, and, and the mouth and, you know, all the, all the way around. Yeah. I think it's great at the minute. I think especially, as, you know, people are wearing less makeup perhaps in, in and out of lockdown or I just I really love using it because it's it's one simple thing and it does absolutely everything that I need it to do. So if you're being a bit lazy or you're in a bit of a rush, like it's really good because you'll still get a deep clean without having any of that extra residue left over. Um, so yeah, I think it's really versatile from that respect. 
and it's gentle um yeah. and i think some people have a fear that a balm is going to be heavy or too rich or too oily and and i think because it's a plant based balm it's, it doesn't have any mineral oil it won't clog your pores it won't be too heavy on the skin and anyway you're taking the excess off at yeah. the end but instead of feeling stripped and dry afterwards your skin will feel soft and yeah. nourished as well as cleansed and I think that that's really like you say important and funnily just come into my mind I've been writing about something called mask knee have you oh, heard yes. of this yeah. Yeah. <laughs> from our lovely <laughs> from face mask people are having breakouts yeah. because of the, um, because of the wearing the mask and all that um, inflammation that's happening under the mask and the extra bacteria and everything and a double cleanse with this is really going to help because you're going to be able to really kind of gently soothe that irritated skin as well as give it a really good deep clean right. yeah um, I think as well because it's it is quite expressed, but because you've got that lovely fragrance, it still feels very luxurious. Um, yeah. So it's not like a you know very simple like a foaming cleanser or a light cream cleanser. It it's got that lovely pampering feel to it too. So it's kind of mood enhancing as well. Which yes, you've got all the aromas that are going yeah. to um, to benefit as well. Yeah. Um, we talk about one of the other ways that we can use the product. Yeah. As well. Yeah. Okay, so um, this is a lovely, I mean, this is a lovely and probably my favourite way of using the product um, because it really kind of um, connects with um, me being a massage therapist as well. And it's, um, you know, I'll, I'll do facials too. Well, I'm not doing them at the moment, but I have done um, facials and it's using the product like as a treatment mask. So you're leaving it on for about 10, maybe 20 minutes or mm -hmm. even half an hour if, if you're at home and, and, and want it on for that long. And But it's all in the application because we can really slow down now because it's not about cleansing and getting on to the next thing and moving on through the day. It's about giving yourself a treat, giving yourself and your skin a little bit of time for some kind of luxury and yeah. so while you're putting it on it's worth kind of thinking about what else you can do as well to relax the facial muscles to stimulate the circulation and to kind of um, energize the kind of the skin uh, the cell repair if you like um, so should we go through that I mean yeah, let's when I it. say mask I mean it's not a clay mask it's yeah. an oil mask so it's not about um kind of a deep cleanse or a kind of extraction um it's more about feeding the skin yeah. so you would do it if you're feeling dry or um sensitive sensitive skin or inflamed skin or you just kind of wanted to give it some input yeah I think but it may also have the result of softening yeah softening pores and unblocking um uh, any kind of blackheads perhaps that might be yes. sitting around yeah okay Perfect. let's yeah. go so uh get a similar amount that we used before although you might use a little bit more because um you're going to kind of leave it on yeah. um so again work the oil into the ends of your fingers yeah and the way i do this is you know it's just gently kind of just pressing it in and using the pads of your fingers just to really you know, find the contours of your face and the places where the balm um, can get and then into your forehead so really it's just kind of rolling rolling the um, fingertips and you know, you could kind of work it into the, I mean, I don't know about you, but it, it feels like a very smooth application, doesn't it? Yeah, it doesn't it's just feel. gliding. I think because it melts yeah. so quickly into the skin, yeah. it's very easy to then spread. So do we start at, you started at the um, sort of eye, uh, cheekbone. Would you start there well, and work down? If, or? You were, if you were cleansing at this point, you know, we it doesn't really matter where you start but you know that kind of upwards and outwards circular movement kind yeah of. but we're not cleansing we're going slow 
So the way that I would approach this is to think about um, acupressure points okay, and kind of stimulating it in that way. So there is um, a sequence. You can figure out your own, but I would use a sequence. So um, it's finger pads. Um, you could use your middle finger. I'm not going to use my mega middle finger because that looks a little bit like putting my middle finger up you don't want to put anyone so I'm, off I'm the video use my index <laughs> finger. and uh, this is where you would start so you kind of want to put in some nice deep pressure so into the center of the chin there just for a few seconds and then release and then into the up the middle of the upper lip and press and just explore it and sometimes some of those points feel really amazing and some of them sometimes they don't feel like anything but they all relate to different systems in our body if you're looking at it from a kind of a Chinese uh, medicine perspective mm. which we, we're not going to go too far in that direction and um, then using two fingers go to each side of the nose and just kind of roll roll them in there and then go up to the top of the cheekbone and just press there and this is really lovely, actually. And then bring it a bit closer to where you were. That's it. And press. And then there's some room for another one there. That feels like it's really working into the sinus cavity a little bit. And then come up to here. This is a really good spot if you've got a headache. Mm. Well, if you've been looking at a screen all day, I think this would be really nice. Releases the muscles around the eye. And then you can kind of come up to that midpoint here. And then kind of to the outer mid area of the forehead. And press. Frown lines out. <laughs> <laughs> and then come to the beginning of the eyebrows. Kind of where the... Um, a kind of the eye socket starts and then just kind of work your way around that again really fantastic for kind of eye strain and there's a couple of really lovely points here um, in fact there's a point here that you can almost feel a little groove in your head your skull that fits mm. the pad of your finger it's a really great point if you just want to hang out for a bit of relaxation and you can kind of push your fingers backwards push them forwards and push them upwards and push them down and that's a really kind of releasing uh action for that will help with uh, relaxing those facial muscles and kind of stress and tension and then bring the fingers to the bottom of the eye socket here and round you know, just taking really small steps around the contour of that cavity, the eye cavity. So we get to the end and that's it. Beautiful. You don't want to spend too long because if it feels like it's going to go on and on, you won't do it, will you? But yes. that, I mean, it was just a few minutes. You've covered the key acupressure points over your face. You've really worked that product in and you can just kind of sit there and relax. Amazing. A little bit of self-care, I think, is lovely. Take care. And then in 10 minutes or use your muslin square or your flannel and take the product off or just leave it on overnight and take it off in the morning. Yeah. Yeah, because that's, I guess, the third use for the product is a moisturizing yeah. balm. So how yeah. would you use that? I'm just going to take my excess off. I would use it at night. I probably wouldn't use it in the day um, unless you've got very dry skin, in which case, I mean, I, you know, there is excess still on the skin, isn't yeah. there? I mean, with my facial oils, after a, a few seconds, they've soaked in and you're ready to apply cream and makeup. With this, yeah. it would take a little while before it had absorbed so that it was comfortable. Yeah. Um, to um to put makeup on so in general I would say um use it at, at night and you could do something like that which is really relaxing put it on 
or you can just roll it on if you haven't got time and you're yeah. tired and you don't want to go to bed and um yeah leave it on yeah and then t- t- take it off in the morning you just cleanse and cleanse in the morning and take it off Perfect. yeah I sometimes in the day I, I do a lot of cycling and in the winter I get very chapped cheeks so I will right. sometimes put a little bit on my cheeks I think if you've got like you said dry areas you could use it in the the daytime too but yeah it's a really nice last step before you go to bed I think to have yeah. it and you don't over- need uh I mean I don't think that you need night cream I think uh, an oil or a balm yeah. is the best way to treat your skin at night because you just don't need the protection that perhaps a, a cream offers so and with an oil or a, a balm you're getting a hundred percent plant nutrients there's no stabilizers or preservatives or yeah. uh, all the other bits bobs that need to be in a cream to um kind of maintain its uh, structure um i mean and you can use it like you say that <laughs> you can use it to um calm brows <laughs> you yeah. can use it as a highlighter <laughs> you know if you want to add a little bit of shine you could use it as a lip balm. Yeah. Um, there are a multitude. You could use it as a kind of a cuticle rub or dry elbows. So it's one of those products you can have in your travel bag or your or your you know your day bag and use it in in lots and lots of different ways. Yeah. No. I I totally agree with the travel. It's and you just go on holiday with one thing and you can cleanse and moisturize and add it to sunburn whenever we'll get sunburn again in the future (laughs) Um, super super versatile and you can buy it uh, on its own as just the balm in the pot or we have this lovely (laughs) here's one we made earlier um (laughs) christmas gift set so tell us what's under this lovely wrapping marianne so that one is You've got the uh, the Radiance Balm, but you've also got uh, the Rejuvenate Body Oil. So, again, that's a multi-purpose product. You could put it in the bath as a bath oil. I use it as a body oil instead of a moisturising cream. So, after a shower, when your skin is slightly damp, yeah, it's always lovely to put product onto damp skin. I um, I didn't say that earlier, but, yeah, use it, use it as a lotion, yeah, instead of a lotion. Well, I think yeah. that would make the perfect gift for someone. And it's great to see a product that has so many uses. So you can just get the most out of those incredible ingredients. So thank you so much for taking me through that. You're welcome.